You'll have to excuse the messy desk. I'm working at the other desk today. Uh, but I want to see if I can't get some upgrades done on my laptop here. Uh, for those who don't know, this is a ThinkPad X250 that I've put a lot of work into. I've put a um, put a 13-inch screen in. This is a 12.5-inch chassis, and I shoved a 13.3-inch screen in there. Um, 1080p screens were a factory option, but 13-inch screens definitely weren't. Anyway, my biggest problem, since I shoved this screen in here, uh, I had to move the Wi-Fi antennas, and I haven't found a way to fit them up on the top half of the screen, so now they're in the chassis, they're in the base of the unit. And this thing gets absolutely abysmal Wi-Fi speeds, and the Bluetooth itself, I mean, I, I use a Bluetooth mouse, mouse, excuse me, and this thing is just laggy and unresponsive sometimes. It drives me crazy. Of course, it's working fine now, but whatever. Um, that's a speed test that I just ran, and for reference, that's on a wired connection on my other computer here. Uh, of course, I know Ethernet is going to be faster, but whatever. Hang on, let me pause this and get this in the tripod. All right, sorry. I just didn't want that to, uh, you know, loud noises, etc., etc. Let me get this thing shut down so we can tear it apart, and you can see the awful clutches that I've done. I know Wi-Fi is going to be a lot faster, or excuse me, um, LAN is going to be a lot faster than Wi-Fi ever will, but, I mean, this thing's at the point where I can hardly use a, um, a Bluetooth mouse, and that's really frustrating to me. So, first thing, we want to take out the SD card. There is a BIOS option that I should have enabled, since I'm taking this apart, because this computer, I mean, as you saw, I already took out the battery, but Lenovo did something that I think is actually pretty cool with the X250 model. Um, there's another battery in here. That's not the only battery. But what you can and should do whenever you take one of these models apart is disable the internal battery. And uh, what that does is it basically just turns off the internal battery until you hook this thing up to uh, power adapter. So that you can take it apart safely. But... I'm all about living dangerously. There we go. Alright, so here comes the cringe. So here's the battery. I'm going to go ahead and unplug this first. Because that's easy to get to. You can see some of the compromises I had to do, like uh, I had to take the SSD out of the casing because there's a wireless antenna right there. There's another wireless antenna sandwiched between all this cabling and the motherboard itself, so if that doesn't explain my absolute shit signal, I don't know what will. But I've, uh, oh, before I get into that, I ordered some new antennas. Um, I bought these on AliExpress a while back. These junky little 3M whatever. And I actually got these pretty much installed, and then I went to plug them in and realized that I had made a very grave error. That's not the one that's attached. Um, here we go. This, I got the wrong connector. So, I don't know how well you can see that on video, but... I'm not very familiar with these new antennas. Most of my junk is like this older mini PCIe and half size mini PCIe or whatever this is. This uses a different connector than the new U.2 or M.2, whatever this is, connectors, um, cards. And so I got these antennas mostly installed and I went to plug them in and went, oh, well, shit. <laughs> and, um, with wireless antennas, you don't really want to splice the cable if you can avoid it, so I didn't do that. But anyway, I need to take the screen off this thing, so I'm going to open it up. Bounce it on the edge of my desk here. And it should come off pretty easily, since there's only two cables running up to the top. 
the webcam cable, which, yes, I do still have the webcam. I managed to fit that. Go figure. And the uh, actual, like, LCD display cable. And pardon the background noise and clicking. Apparently, my desktop computer right here is opted to do some maintenance or something. I don't know. It's doing something. That is the LCD cable. That should be it. Oop. One cable, two connectors. All right, now I'm going to set this aside. We don't need it for now. We're going to do some work on this thing. So this bezel normally just snaps off. Mine is held down with double-sided tape because I broke half the snaps. But it's fine. It's definitely sketchy, though. Okay. So there's the bezel out of the way. I'm just going to set this aside as well. And as you can see, I pretty much ran out of room. So I think I can run another cable up the right hand side here. Otherwise, I think I can run one actually underneath the screen itself. But the these Wi-Fi antennas, I plan on just sticking right under there because it fits just fine. But the new antennas here, I think, will fit even easier. So I made a Mauser order, and feel free to laugh at me, but I made a very critical error, and I ordered 50 millimeter antennas instead of 50 centimeter antennas. Um, don't really know what else to say about that. I can install these and they might work better, but chances are pretty good they will not. Anyway, what's done is done. I'm not going to bother returning these, but what I am going to do is I'm going to reuse this antenna portion. So what I'm going to do I'm going to set the screen aside so I'm not putting my computer on top of it. I'm going to take these antennas out. Get rid of all this capped on tape. Holy cow. I wanted to make sure there were absolutely no shorts whatsoever. I think I've achieved that goal. Okay. And for those who are intimately familiar with ThinkPads, you know that this isn't even one of the right antennas. So these computers come with two sets of antennas. Oh, I don't have my tweezers. I have these shitty ones, maybe they'll work. These computers come with two sets of antennas. Um, one set of WAN antennas for like a 4G connection, and one set of LAN antennas, which is all I'm using. I've already removed the WAN... Well, it never actually had a WAN module, so I didn't really remove it. But I did remove one pair of antennas. And with how these antennas work, um, you get one WAN and one LAN antenna on each pair. I'm just going to remove this thing, maybe. There we go. Alright. Set that 
that aside again. So these, this, these, this is my set of antennas here. I don't remember which is which, which you know, which is the WAN and which is the Wi-Fi one. Uh, but my goal here, since I can't fit this big chunk of plastic and metal in the top half of the screen. Oh, well, that explains a lot. My connection is broken anyway. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut these off of here. And I'm going to solder on these antennas. And hopefully that's good enough. My only concern is I have no idea how to solder to this type of cable. So hopefully it works out. Um, if I have a problem with this, I did already order another set of replacement antennas. And, um, well, hopefully I don't have to use those, but if I do, those will arrive soon-ish. Uh, oh, okay, so this little one is the wireless LAN antenna. This big one is the 4G antenna. So this little one that was tucked in between my motherboard and all the wire is what I was relying on. Oh, man. That's okay. We can make this work. So I'm going to cut these here. I'm just going to use scissors because I don't have my wire cutters here. Um... And hopefully I'm not making a terrible mistake by doing that. At this point it's too late. So YOLO or something. And now I need to find a way to strip these so that I can get the uh, these soldered on. So bear with me a lot. I'm going to pause. We're going to move to the other desk because i got to do some soldering. I'll be right back. Alright, so I lied. I'm not going to actually show you me soldering these on but I did get them soldered on it wasn't too difficult I just used my wire strippers um, used it on like a, a bigger gauge wire stripped off the outer insulation and then moved halfway up and used it on a thinner gauge and then stripped that off it was actually pretty easy and despite my disgustingly messy soldering on this one it did it it was easy you'll have to take my word for it I also ended up before soldering on I stripped off half of the um, heat shrink bits that keep these two together. I just slid them off the end. It was pretty easy. And um, I went ahead and fished this wire under my LCD. And while I was doing that, I figured out how I could have used the original antenna. But, I mean, I guess too little too late. Because this does still physically fit up here, at least on this side. There were two sets of these, one on this side, one on this side. This isn't going to fit over here anymore. That's just not happening. But it would have fit up here. Oh, well. Too little, too late. I think this will be fine. Um, I think what I was originally getting hung up on was running wires behind the LCD, which, I don't know. I think it's fine. There's plenty of room back there. Um, I just used four pieces of double-sided tape in the corner to hold the LCD down, so... There's room, um, but anyway, I think, I'm, I'm not sure how I want to do this. I think I want to put the blue one up there because the slack is a little bit longer, but I'm not sure how exactly I should feed this. Like, should I trust these holes? Yeah, screw it. What's the worst that could possibly happen? got plenty of slack so Drop my tool here so this screen is super flexible it made me extraordinarily nervous when I was installing it but I've come to uh, accept that it's just how it works so I can bend it up a little I mean it it will break if you flex too much, if you flex too hard on this thing, but the problem is getting it flexed enough for that solder blob to fit. There we go. 
There we go. That worked the charm. Alright, so now that's up here. And before I actually like stick these down and adhere them, I'm going to run the cables where they need to go. This is gonna stay on the bottom here. It's gonna go right about here-ish. But I'm gonna run the cables and make sure that I actually can fit everything where it needs to go. I'm gonna have extra slack on the bottom here. It's gonna be a pin in the arse, but whatever. That'll fit in there. That'll work that way. Excellent. So I also took the time to put my SSD back in the case because that's probably a good thing. Oh shoot, did I run these out the wrong side? I did. I wanted to run these out this side. Shoot. Well, that's not too difficult. going, I guess, in the middle-ish. And that. Out there. And that way this can run up and around, and look at that, there is plenty of slack on the cables, you see? In fact, I have a little bit more slack than I know what to do with. But that's okay. I can work with that. That's a lot easier than the alternative. Screw these tweezers. I'm gonna grab my other ones. So these peel off. That should allow me to stick this down. Should. I just want it right there in between the uh, clips. And this one on the bottom here. You can see the pattern on the Molex antennas there. It's pretty cool. Hopefully. I mean, I suppose I could put this one up there. I mean, I should have done that before I peeled this off. I think it will work better up there, so I'm going to try and get it up there. I need to feed this through again, though. So the first time I fed this through, it's actually from the top here. Got to be careful because this thing wants to bend. It's easiest to introduce your own bend, that way you can kind of control it. But unfortunately this is going in two different directions now. And it's not coming out the other side. Oh, but it's close enough. There it is. Alright, so I'm just going to do the exact same thing again. Feed this through.
Uh oh, it's stuck on something. Oh, there it goes. I was going to say, I suppose worst case scenario, I could just leave it on whatever the hell it gets stuck on. So now I want to put this underneath this cabling. Which is fine, because that moves way easier than it should. Let's put it right there. And eh, whatever, it'll be bent a little, but I'm sure it's fine. Stick that back down. this should all just tuck into this corner here. And then I think I'm good to pop this back on. hook in the corner. There it goes. I didn't break off all the clips, just nearly all of them. And then I think we should be good to go to put this back together. I'm gonna adjust the camera a little, give you some crotch cam here. I'm hanging this off the edge of my desk so that I can leave the hinges open. It's a lot easier that way. I'm just going to put in one screw on each side to make sure I don't drop it. Then I'll do the rest. wires again. I need new tape for that, but I think that's problem for another time. I'm going to fold that up so I don't have to hang it off my desk anymore. So you can, if someone out there is watching this video and is thinking about doing one of these mods for themselves, you can ditch the um, webcam module if you really want to uh, but then sleep doesn't work as in like if you close the lid it won't go to sleep I mean you can always just manually put it to sleep it's no issue but 
I was also unusually attached to the um, little blinking red light on the lid. I want to put like a Terminator sticker or something stupid on it. Alright. I'm just going to use the built in cable management here. And as you can see, there is entirely too much wire, but I think I could just tuck that tuck that into the slot where it was before, into the um, WAN area, and it should be fine. Also, I was looking it up. There is a tool that you're supposed to use to connect and disconnect these things. I don't bother. And they are super easy to break, but, you know, just, just thought I'd share. I thought it was interesting. Alright. Ah, shoot. Speaking of super easy to break, this one might be broken because it is not staying snapped down. I might have to tape it down or something. See, there it goes again. I'm going to go get some tape. I'll be right back. Alright, I'm just going to use a little bit of this thin cap tone. I suppose I should use a little bit more to hold these wires down. I mean, I've got the tape here. Why not? I'm genuinely surprised at how much slack I have, though. I expected to run into issues. All right. I think we're good to go. I'm going to go ahead and plug this back in, pop the rear cover back on, or bottom cover, Luckily, these screws in the bottom cover are captive, so you don't have to worry about losing them. You can loosen them, but they shouldn't ever actually come out of the bottom cover. Alright, I think we're good to go. Except that one of these cables is getting pinched. in its place now and yeah I know it loses its uh, magic when the, you already show the internal battery but oh go figure oh there it is now it's just taking a second ta-da and hooray it's booting I didn't break it uh, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video for a minute while I type in all my passwords and get this thing ready, and we'll do one more test. Alright, so already my mouse is significantly more responsive, so that is super cool. 
but uh, let's go ahead and run this speed test here. Kill these lights so there's less glare on the screen. And, uh, well, I don't remember what it was, but since it's higher than my desktop, I think we're good. 3.0, oh, my desktop's at 3.09, upload 35 download. But let me try this. I have a media server. So let's try uploading a picture to that and see how long it takes. Because before it was taking, it was giving me this bullshit. And look at that. It copied pretty much instantly. Let me, how big is that? 46.7. Oh, look at how fast that is. Oh my God, I love it. It used to take like 10 minutes to copy an eight megabyte file. Holy shit. Oh, this is such a good idea. I'm so happy with it. <laughs> well, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to go, um, well, I guess I'm not going to go upload a bunch of shit because I already uploaded a bunch of shit, but I don't know. I guess I'll go upload this video. Have a good night, guys.